Global climate change threatens to disrupt the well-being of society, deter economic development and alter the natural environment, making it a key policy concern of the 21st century. Governments around the world have reached a consensus on the need to achieve large cuts in greenhouse gas emissions over the coming decades, to adapt to the impacts of climate change and to ensure the necessary financial and technical support for developing countries to take action. Global CO2 emissions are basically um, due to the burning of uh, coal, oil and gas. So we are mainly concerned in the electricity sector substituting power generation by coal or gas with low carbon generation, mainly by nuclear of course, but also through hydro and through some renewables such as uh, wind and, and solar primarily. So nuclear energy has uh, been for several decades one of the uh, largest source of low carbon electricity uh, around the world, uh, especially in OECD countries. The NEA is an organization that fosters cooperation among uh, those countries that have the most advanced nuclear power programs. A lot of our members are very interested in how nuclear can help combat climate change. Uh, we spent a lot of time analyzing this over the last uh, several years, and we work very closely with another OECD organization, the International Energy Agency, and we've worked together to develop something called the two degree C scenario. This scenario looks at, basically answers a very basic, important question. If we look at 2050, we want to meet these important goals for uh, reducing CO2 emissions to assure that global temperatures don't go past that two degree C point, what does our energy mix look like globally? And in that two degree scenario, uh, nuclear energy plays a, a very important role, uh, not just for its past contribution, but uh, looking to, to 2050, the middle of the century, uh, the two degree scenario, which is a projection, not a prediction, models a, a, an expansion of nuclear power to uh, about 930 gigawatts uh, gross capacity. That's more than a doubling of today's capacity in less than 35 years. But still 930 gigawatts of uh, installed nuclear power by 2050 is a, is a tremendous challenge. Well, if you look at where we are today, um, we're building something globally on the order of 65 to 70 nuclear reactors uh, for commercial use right now. That pace of construction will never get us to um, the level of nuclear contribution necessary to meet the two degree C scenario. So the question has been asked, well, can we ramp up even more construction? So there's a great deal of capability around the world to build more nuclear plants faster um, if people decide that's the answer that they would like to pursue. That contribution of nuclear right now is not really recognized. That is part of the problem. Of course, since 2010, a number of events have uh, affected the, the, the prospects for nuclear development, including uh, the Fukushima Daiichi accident, but also uh, the economic and financial crisis from 2008-2009. Policymakers in OECD countries have been uh, very much leaning in favor of renewables in recent years. However, nuclear is the only large-scale source of low-carbon power that is both dispatchable and scalable. Whereas uh, solar and wind, they are uh, variable, which means that at some hours of the day or some moments, they will not be available. In fact, uh, nuclear power would be the single largest contributor to um, decarbonizing our energy infrastructure in the future. However, when we look at what's happening today, we're clearly not on that path at this stage. We're not building nuclear plants nearly fast enough around the world to be able to meet that target. And already in this scenario, wind power, solar power, carbon sequestration are all being pursued very, very aggressively, along with very aggressive energy uh, efficiency measures. So if nuclear doesn't fulfill that role, it puts much, much more stress on all the other technologies. So if you're going to take a true all of the above approach, uh, nuclear would have to play a role. Uh, but right now we, we, we are not on track f for realizing a nuclear contribution to the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions and uh, we need to work in the coming years to make that happen.